you consider the average hospital that may have uh, um, maybe 200 beds, inpatient beds, that hospital may see 50,000 visits a year in their emergency department. The situation was becoming very, very stressful working as an ER doctor. Our patient volumes were increasing dramatically. I remember in a two-year period, we went from seeing 35,000 patients a year, which is a lot, up to seeing 50,000 patients a year. And it was placing tremendous stress on us as physicians. We had the issues of communication of the, of the care to other doctors who would take on the case after us. We had to deal with legal issues, legal concerns. Physicians are always concerned about uh, documenting the care and uh, doing the right thing and avoiding a lawsuit. <laughs> At that time, especially in Texas, uh, there were lots of lawyer sharks trying to sue emergency room physicians. And uh, I know one of our doctors got sued twice in a year and he almost had a nervous breakdown. issues of, of billing, of, of payment, and that went hand in hand with, with proper documentation so that the visit could be properly coded. It was very difficult to get paid being a doctor in the emergency department because um, the government had enacted new regulations that made documentation very difficult. Uh, not only did the regulations change, but the interpretation and the understanding in the medical community of, of these uh, regulations changed constantly. We said there's got to be a solution out there that can help us just survive. These are just a few of, of the concerns, so there must be a better way to document encounters in the emergency department. <laughs>